Writing for the Vital Burnley site is a, is a new thing for me. Um, I, I wrote a piece which was published in the Match Day programme, uh, which I thought was kind of um, quite witty, and uh, they did too. So, but it was linking um, uh, the quantum theory to football, and I don't think that had ever been done before. And, um, and <coughs> Darren Bentley, who's the uh, publicity man here, thought it was a good idea. So it was published. So Phil Lee, who was, um, uh, runs the Vital Burnley site, is the editor of it, saw it and uh, contacted me and said, would you like to do a few pieces? Well, I always have done a bit of writing. And uh, so I've started, he started a regular column there called A, a Touch of Vintage Clarice. It's a wonderful site, uh, if I might put a plug in for it, because it, um, uh, there are other Burnley sites as well. The Burnley have got their own site, which I subscribe to. and I can listen to football matches on the internet, which I have done in America when I've been working away there. It's very funny to sit in North Carolina and hear a match from Turf Moor, you know, in your hotel room. That's the wonders of, of technology. Uh, and then there's Clarets Mad, and now there's Vital Burnley. The Vital Burnley site, um, like the Clarets Mad site, uh, in, but in a slightly different way, um, are, are giving money to buy shares in the club, because the more subscribers they get, the more clicks on the site, uh, the more they're able to raise money and, and buy shares. Now, I think they've raised £800 and up to 1000 by the end of the year, which is only like four shares, but it, it's, it's a site for fans, and it's part of a bigger network site, so there's Vital Hull and Vital Sheffield and so on and so forth. So there is an intermingling between the, between the fans, and at the moment it's a very good site to be on. There's not as much uh, abuse and nonsense as there are on some of the sites, where I find the message boards, you know, sometimes offensive, you know. Well, I said to him, how often did he want to, do you want to call him? And he said, well, it's as, <laughs> as many as you want, really. So, you know, depending on other commitments, I think I've got four on there at the moment. And recently, um, uh, we were looking for something new, because you've always got websites, as you know. You've always got to attract people to, to them with something new. So, um, having been a photographer, I'd taken a lot of photographs on the Burnley's great day at Wembley against Sheffield United. The fans on the way up to the ground, as well as stuff around. And, uh, and uh, at the moment, running on the vital Burnley site, there's a whole uh, load of photographs, portraits, as it were of uh, fans, mums, dads, kids and things that I took on the day. So there's always something you can contribute. It's, you know. I mean, somebody said to me, a friend of mine who was an artist, a woman artist, very talented artist called Jane Walker. Jane said, um, uh, you know, she's not a football fan, but she said, if, she said, looking at those photographs, she said, there's so much energy in them. And she saw some that we haven't published. She said, there's so much energy in them. She said, if I w ever wanted to become a football fan, I think I'd become a Burnley fan if all your fans were like that. And, uh, and I did point out to her that, you know, Perhaps not all of them are like that, but most of them are, and most football fans are. Most football fans are absolutely terrific. You know, they wear their heart on their sleeve and follow their team through thick and thin, and they are nice people. Yeah.